thing about innovation, it can make public transport more efficient and it can also be more user friendly and improve commuters' lives. Now, that is the aim of the Third Singapore International Transport Congress, an exhibition which is held as part of the World Cities Summit for the first time. Here's Gwyneth Cho with more. As public transport goes digital, all the more people must remain at the heart of it. And that's a sentiment shared by world public transport leaders at the Singapore International Transport Congress and Exhibition. We will look at the many ways of leveraging innovative technologies and solutions to transform the rail landscape, improve service delivery and enhance commuting experience. Some 100 exhibitors from over 25 territories showed off the latest in public transport technology designed to bring greater convenience to all. One of the new technologies on display is this hands-free gateless technology. With the use of long-range RFID or facial recognition, all I have to do is walk through and it detects my presence. Commuters will take less than a second to pay their fare compared to 1.5 seconds currently. The system by ST Engineering may even dispense with an MRT card altogether if operators choose to use facial recognition. The fare will then deduct from a virtual account. So we actually designed for two, two, two various reasons. One is for the operator because you get higher throughputs, people getting in the station early faster. Second is against for the passenger. Passengers basically you can put your hand in your pocket and walk through seamlessly. And then of course for the physical challenge people which people wheelchair access, you just push it through. Other technologies on display included an unmanned vehicle for track inspection that is four times more efficient than manual checks. It can also detect cracks that the human eye can't. And from Belarus, an elevated rail system that can also run a tram beneath it, making public transport infrastructure more efficient.